This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. In this video, I'll walk you through how to add or embed a PDF on your WordPress website. And then we'll cover a couple of different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. And sometimes you just need a PDF to give to your audience. And it's not always the easiest way to do it. Like how do they, they're asking for this PDF? How do I give it to them? The first method is super simple. We're going to upload the PDF to our WordPress website, and then we'll add a link so that they can download it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to your media library and you can either click library or click add new from here. We want to find the file that we're uploading. You can select the file and we're doing this. So now that we have this, we need to go in and edit and we need to get the file URL. So I'm just going to highlight this whole area and copy, or you can just copy URL here. And now we want to go create the post. So I'm going to go to all posts, add new and add the information wherever it is that you're wanting the post to be. And then you can highlight because we need to create a hyperlink. So we're going to click on the link area and then we're going to right click and paste that. And you see it found it. So we're good to go. We can either hit enter. Or I'm going to click on the little submit guy here. So now you see it's turned this color. That is the hyperlink color for my theme. And now we can click publish to see this in action. So we can click view post and now we have it. So when I click on it, it'll open it up in a new window. And what's really cool is I'm going to scroll down. When I open it up in a new window, it's actually opening it up in the browser. So now they have the ability to zoom in if they want, they can zoom out, they can download it if they want, print it off or even rotate it around. So they have access to it just like this. And in a second, if you want, you can tell how many times it's been downloaded by using something in addition to that. And if you're using monster insights, monster insights and the pro version or higher will automatically detect and keep track of how many downloads are happening for your PDF file. Monster Insights on its own is a fantastic plugin that will connect your site with Google Analytics so you can see exactly what's happening on your site and you get the reports that matter to you, such as how many people are coming to your site, how many page views they look at, how many sessions and things like that. Plus, when you go into the settings, the download event is automatically set up if you go to engagement and scroll all the way down. You see that all of these extensions are already being tracked as downloads. So as soon as someone clicks on that, then that will be considered a download and you can keep track of that. Now that is adding the PDF to your site in a certain way, but if you want to actually show it in a viewer or embedded mode where they can't click on it, they can simply view it as it's there. Then let me show you this way. We'll need to head over to plugins add new because we're going to install a new plugin that will also allow you to embed the PDF under search plugins. We're going to look for PDF embedder, and this is the one we're looking for from lever technologies, LLC. So go ahead and install that. Now, once you install it, make sure you stick around to activate it as well. Once it's activated, you'll see it down here under your plugins area. You can either go to settings here, or if you ever need to come back to work on your PDF embedder, you can go under settings under the main settings go to PDF and better. And from here you can work on it. Now the default viewer settings that you can set that up and basically any PDF that you embed using this plugin will automatically show that width and the height. If you want to do that, you can also choose to show toolbar location scrolling down. You can also see that there's some premium features that you can do if you upgrade, such as giving them the ability to download the plugin or to open links in a new browser. You can also view or track downloads, but I just showed you how you could do that otherwise, as well as continuous page scrolling. So it's already automatically set up and then you see under mobile, there's also some premium items, but we can go to all posts with just the free version. We can go to the power words post that we've been working on. And instead of doing the link that we showed the hyperlink that we created, I'm going to start a new line so I can use a new block and we can click on the little add block button and we're looking for a PDF and PDF embedder is what we want from here. It's asking us to open the media library. You're going to either upload the file that you need, but since we already have it, I'll click on this and add a caption and a description for the PDF here. And then 
we'll select it. So that's in here now. We can update this. I'm going to open it in a new window so you can see it in action. Great. And now this is the link that we added on our own. And scrolling down here, you see the embedded PDF where you can allow them to zoom in if they want. And then they can click on the little page plus here so that they can go through. So two very simple ways to embed or showcase the PDF that you're trying to add for your users. Each one might be a different reason for you to use it. So you want to pick the one that works best for you. And then if you want to see what else Monster Insights can do for your website, you can just head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPB VIP and you'll get the best discount on Monster Insights. And thanks for watching.